Hello, God bless you. This is Ellen Mongan. You just have a minute to pause with me because it's time to talk about Jesus together, about our faith and about motherhood, and fatherhood and, and living your vocation for Christ. Did you ever think you were a superhero like super mom or a super dad with a cape that you could do, do all things you're asked and please everyone who was around? See, I have this little cape on today. See, a little cape because... I was going to put it up like it's my prop for today to say, look at that, it goes the wrong way. If you're a superhero or not, you're a superhero if you make everyone happy at the same time. Anybody out there, takers that can do that? You're a superhero if you can balance the budget on a shoestring. You are a superhero if you can eat right all the time and never treat yourself. No, there's no such thing as superheroes what you are as a human being. And we have something more precious than a cape. We have, turn it around. This is my little raggedy hand one. See, look at that. We have a heart set on Jesus. Do you see it here, a little heart? I don't know what this one says. This says, I love Lucy. It's for my costume. It's nice to do the, the, um, the balance your life with everyday wife. See, there's a little heart there. The heart, it will make you. That says, I love Lucy, because I had that one with Lucy. But you know what? There are no superheroes. There's a pearl of great price. And if you choose Jesus to be the center of your heart, then guess what? You're a different superhero of sorts. You take everything to prayer. Sometimes God has to allow us to go to the bottom of the pit, to the broken this land, in order that we might wave the, the red flag, this one's orange, and wave it and say, Jesus, I need you. I never forget that when that happened to me. I had walked with the Lord a long time, and I go, you know what? I can't do this. <laughs> I need you to be the center of my life. I need a savior. Surrender. I surrender all to you, Lord. All to Jesus. I surrender. And that's when you begin to live life anew. You may have walked the Lord like I did since I was seven years old. I met the Lord in the Eucharist at St. Jerome's Catholic Church when I, with the veil on my head and a smile on my face, went forward to receive Jesus for the first time. I knew it was real. I hope you know he's real too, because he is. Just like gravity, it's my little, my little thing, so you know, just like gravity, when you drop something, it falls to the ground. That's the promises of God work if you believe them or not. The fact that Jesus is real is true if you know or not. Ooh, if you knew that there was a Savior that could save you from sin, guide your life and walk with you daily he walks with me and he talks with me wouldn't you choose him <laughs> this nowadays my husband and I are talking about heroes of for the children nowadays a lot of people are into the bands they're going from band to band I don't even know the names of the band so I I really really am lost on that field but they are going looking for superheroes the little kids are looking for the Disney characters I'll be Snow White May Rose Red I want to be I want to be Rapunzel, May the Mermaid. <laughs> they look for superheroes. They look for a hero. Shame on you, parents, if you're not teaching them the real heroes of our faith. Who are they? There's Saint Mary Magdalene. There's Saint um, Margaret Mary. I meant to say first because she's a feast of the Sacred Heart. There's Saint Monica who prayed fervently for her children. There's Saint Patrick that used a four-leaf clover, a piece of nature, to explain the Trinity. There's Padre Peel, who could read souls. He could tell you, are you done with your confession? Because I think we have one more. There is St. Joseph, the chaste spouse of Mary. There's the Blessed Mother. These are the heroes of our faith. You know what it says in the scripture? It says the flag is surrender because they've surrendered all to Jesus. They're waving you on like a cheerleader when the football men go through the little... I just love that. When the, the hoop is up and then the, the football guys would run through and the cheerleaders go, yay! That's the superhero. And they're the heroes of our faith. They're cheering us on. They're saying, you can do it if you try. They're praying for us intercession. They don't have to wear a super cape. They know that the pearl of grace price, Jesus, lives in their heart. And they know that they've gone before us and done what we're doing now. Wisdom comes from God alone. But the Holy Spirit, one of the, one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is wisdom, wisdom, counsel, understanding, and you know that you could call upon him anytime and ask for wisdom if you're in a pickle. Those of you who have been listening to me know my big thing this year is solutions. Problems come and problems go. 
If you find a solution to the problem, they don't stay as long. People don't like solutions. You know what they like? They enjoy the problems. <laughs> they like to say, oh, poor me. I've had a terrible life. Look what's happened to me. Oh, poor me. Instead, research. I remember when I was a young mother, and I had never based that, and I had never done children at all, and I had capacity. I didn't think I was was that felt called to do that. But I had a baby on the honeymoon. It was like our, no, I had him on the, uh, I got pregnant on the honeymoon and brought home a souvenir and it was Tyler Patrick William Moggett. So people do the math. It looks like he's a real good souvenir. Anyway, so I ended up having to um, research everything that came along. When do I get solid foods? What, should I nurse or should I get bottles? Should I um, help him to walk or should he crawl first? Then we got bigger kids and there were bigger problems. What do you do about toilet train? I have a formula if you all want to know. It's about Ellen at yahoo.com. I have a try and do way that worked for me. It may not work for you, but it's a suggestion. Okay, so there's toilet train. And then they grow and there's more problems. There's getting along with friends. And there's what kind of friends to choose. Should I spank or not spank? These are problems that come along as a mother's life. You may not be a mother. May your problems I who shall I date? Who shall I marry? Shall I marry at all? Shall I become a nun or a priest or a deacon? You know, there's many problems that come along in life. And James is very clear about if you want wisdom, he will give it to you if you will listen and do what he says. That's a paraphrase for sure. Otherwise, you're like swaying on the ocean, like a boat in the waves, you know, and I always talk about Jesus in the boat and how the he was fast asleep and the disciples called upon him. They were afraid. Are you afraid today? Are you confused? Do you need wisdom? Do you need to get out the flag and surrender and say, Lord, I know you're real and I love you because you just show me how to walk with you. It's a great scripture I've been using almost half a year now. Take my yoke upon me and learn from me. I'm a gentle and humble teacher and I only give you light burdens. Take a moment today. When we read the scripture, another one of the not formulas, but things to do is say, what is it saying? And what is this saying to me? And how can I apply it to my life? You know, God speaks to his people. Pat and I can read the same scripture, and he's a deacon, so he's much wiser than me. And we get something totally out of it that's different. <laughs> that's the amazing thing, because God meets where you're at and speaks to your heart. So it's good to take a pause. This is summertime. It gets full. Take a retreat. I'm trying to do a thing where once a once a month on the first week of the month, the first Friday, the first Saturday, I take a retreat. I'm taking one Friday with my girlfriends. It's a little late, but we're, that's the best we can do. So just go on retreat. Go to the Adoration Chapel. Listen. Take a notebook. And then try to be quiet. Try to be quiet and listen. And then do what God tells you to do. So what have we said today? We said the need for surrender is great. To know God for yourself is marvelous to hear to teach your children that the superheroes are the saints cheering you on to get to the goal what's the goal to live in the center of jesus's heart to walk with him and talk with him and let him call you by name you can find a lot of people in the world that you admire but me as for me and my household i'll serve the lord i'll put people in my path and in my friendship that are walking close or as well so i can learn from them as your friends are, so you shall be like them. You know, five minutes was so too short. So too short, that's a word for me. And my talkativeness, my um, my wordy Ellen. So I said 10 minutes would be, I'd stop exactly at 10 no matter what. So what are you thinking about today? It's summertime. I'm going to do a whole other um, podcast this week on how to entertain your children this summer and what's some good ideas of things that work for me. I don't always talk about motherhood. Sometimes I talk about marriage, sometimes about my books that I write. Sometimes I ask you to ask me to come speak at your church. So today I'm going to do that in the midst of like being a person to cheer people on. I've walked with the Lord since I was seven years old. I'm going to be 70 this year. I, I learn from every day. You never know it all, ever. So when I was younger, the Lord put on my heart to do retreats for women called The Balance in Life for the Everyday Wife. A balance in life with everyday life. If your life's on a roll where you have a teeter totter, it's going one end's down, and the other is up. You're not balanced. You have to get to this point where you have balance. And your barometer is peace. 
piece of your soul tells you if you're balanced in this life or not. I'd like to start those conferences again. I did some before in Florida. And so the other word that was put on my heart is go to the, the stables. The stables are where little churches that don't usually get speakers. You know, every speaker you could learn from because they, everyone can have a piece of um, just a small word, a scripture, a message that speaks right to you. God picks the speakers. If you're praying for a speaker and you want someone to talk on marriage or motherhood or discovering your gifts, there's so many topics, or the Catholic faith, I'd like to be your speaker. So it's Ellen Mongan, well, it's wowellen at yahoo.com. My website's www.ellenmongan.com. www.wowellen.com. Ellen, no, I don't get accused on that because I just confused you. It's ellenmongan.com. My kids thought that'd be easier because if you put your name, they could find you. So I hope you're having a blessed day. Hope everything's everything's um, in the faith of going God's way. And we end at one minute past because I decided to tell you about my speaking. May you be blessed this day. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Live in the heart of God.